Hello everyone, howdy doody. Got a sweet little firearm to show you. Very, very nice. It's the Springfield Armory, the Hellcat Pro. Really nice. We're going to go through it, fellas and fellettes. Show you a little about it. It's a uh, mighty fine firearm. Got to check it out. Pretty sweet. So, come on with me. Let's go take a look at it. Come on. All right, well, here we are. Let's take a gander at this thing. Turn around here so you fellas and fellas can see it. It's a nice little box. It's cardboard, obviously. But uh, I tell you what, can't judge the book by its cover because what's inside this thing, guys, is it's very, very nice. Let's take a gander at this. I like how they do a little label and logo one right there. That's pretty slick. So here's your little bag comes with it. Nice little padded bag with a zipper on it. We'll set that aside first. You know, we got to go through this other stuff. Here's the manual. Looks like it comes in a really nice little, little umber. I know this is one side. Here's kind of busted open. I guess didn't seal it. I may I may just glue that for him. Uh, let's see. Here's your Hellcat manual. And I'll say a little something about this. I know when you go in here to go to where it's in here, where it says you know. For, field stripping for cleaning and purposes and stuff like that. It's gonna to explain to you about, well, you see this little lever right there. That's gonna be in the front towards the left-hand side of the firearm, that little lever right there. So what they want you to do is ratchet it all the way back till it locks in place. And once it locks in place, you rotate that dial clockwise straight up to 12 clock position. Make sure you have the magazine out because if you don't, it's not gonna work. I don't know what causes it, I mean, I've tried it a couple times, and for some reason, I don't know. I just, I know the first time I ever took one apart, um, it just, it just, it just wouldn't turn. I, I don't know what the deal was. All right, looks like you get 50% off uh, Hellcat accessories. Um, just uh, go to so yeah, go on their line and and enter your information, and you'll get 50% uh, off. Now that's that's pretty cool. All right, what we got here? Oh, this looks like a Springfield Armory sticker with a flag on it. Now that is cool. I don't know if you can see it. it's got white paper on it, but that's that's pretty cool. Um, that's uh, can't read that. Sorry. Risk of injury, death by firearm, caution. Okay, this is just a safety card, safety guidelines explain the safety of it. Um, warranty activation. So it says right here, you can go right online right there and enter all the information of the firearm right here when it's purchased, serial number, model number, uh, and your your name and address, and you can do it right online. Saves you a whole lot of frustration, I guess. You can do it right there online. Get all this back in. This yeah, I'm gonna, before we put this back up, I'm going to put some glue on that. I don't know why it's like that. Okay. This thing does have a a uh, a shield glass scope on it. Um, you can scan this and go to it and explain a whole lot about it. Uh, and it also looks like they have sighted it in for you guys, so you're ready to go. Now that's that's pretty cool that they did that. And I mean that's that's a pretty good grouping right there. I bet that was probably the first shot. Would be my guess, and that was probably the second. And then right there, they dialed her in, guys. They just got her dialed right in. So that's 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 cool. All right, I know there's magazine. But just, there we go. This um, comes with another magazine. Now this is a, 16, a 17 plus one. You can see that. So there'll be 18 rounds in one magazine, and it comes with two. You get two magazines. And look at this, guys. You get a speed loader. Well, you put it around the right way. You get a speed loader. Ain't that cool? That is that is slick. 
Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. And you know, obviously your lock. So two magazines, speed loader, and the lock, of course. And we're gonna we're gonna hang on to this. And we're gonna show you a little something about it. All right, let's get this around here. Let's take a gander at that. Nice, nice case, padded. Yep. Got the Springfield Armory logo on the top. Let's bust this thing open here, guys. How's everybody out there doing today? That's good to know. I've been doing pretty good myself. Everything's been been okay. Been trying to get videos done, get ready to put them up. You know, try to stay ahead so I, I don't get behind in case I got to go out of town and, and, and I ain't got the time. I've already got the videos ready, so it helps. All right, here is the Hellcat. The Gripster. It's re really, really etched polymer right there. I mean, that's that's not going to get out of your hand for sure. That feels good. That feels real good. Yeah. It's got your little index finger. Looks like on both sides. Yep. All right, let's check see if she's loaded, which everybody knows it's not. But it's always safe to, to show that it's not. Nothing's in there. She is an empty gun. All right, let's see reset on it. Oof. Oof, da. Yeah, maybe because it's new. I'm not sure, but geez, that's that's not easy to push. That's a little hard. Yep. All right, here's the scope. Here you go. You take a look at that, and see if you look in there good enough. You can see the uh, the the green. See that green side on the front. It goes right through the glass scope. Now the glass scope is not on, so we're going we're gonna to get to that in a minute. So very nice, and yes, it says shield on it. And again, they've already sighted it in for you, so you're good to go. You don't you don't have to mess with it. Now this one we'll probably have to take out and and uh, just to check it because I'm going to take it off. I'm going to put the battery in there. So maybe we can show you guys what it looks like. And of course I'm taking the battery back out, but obviously of moving this, I'm probably going to throw it out of whack you know, in doing that. But uh, we can fix that. That's a simple fix. Okay, in this pack, I got sinuses about to drive me crazy. So I'm going to step out here. There's your battery. Looks like a 2032 maybe. Yep, 2032, CR 2032. Okay. This piece here is what goes on top of your firearm if you're not, it goes, well, it goes around the other way, if you're not going to use a scope whatsoever. So you can take this off and put this back on. And uh, that'll go back in place of it. This, you got two Allen wrenches. The, the bigger one is to mount the glass scope, and the smaller one is for your adjustments, which is right there. That little piece of screw right there. That'll be for your adjustment. And then you got your dial here. Um, to help you get it zeroed in. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's really neat. That'd be there, it's sticking in there, yep, probably so. Okay, extra screws right here. So we'll get all this back in there. And we're gonna need that one wrench. We'll need that one, we'll need that one. And the card, I guess you can scan this and go straight to the to the manual of that shield, what it shows right here for it. Yep. And then on this side, it's for the warranty. So, something yeah, I would take a look at. All right, let's uh, let's take this let's take this glass scope off here. Um, let's see what we're gonna do. We're gonna stick this in here. Unscrew that. that things are mighty tight, huh? It's unscrewed. All right. There. Okay. I hope y'all gonna be able to. There it goes. I hope y'all gonna be able to see it. That's gonna be cool if you can, but probably not. We we'll have to slide the box back over here. All right. Where does it say stick it in there? It says positive side goes. Believe it goes down. Let's see. It's kind of hard to snap in there. 
try to snap it in from this side. There we go. I think that's the way it goes. Somewhere like that. I mean, is this thing going to snap in? There it went. It's in there now. So now let me see if, see if we got a red dot in there. Yes, we do. Okay. So now we're going to put it back on. Just make sure it's sitting down flat on there. We're not gonna we're not gonna crank it down tight because I'm gonna take the battery back out so it's just not wasting any of the any of the power for the guys, you know. Okay, now I'm gonna see if I can get this thing. Maybe I can get it to where y'all can see that red dot. I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm gonna try. I'm not gonna be able to see it in the camera, I don't believe. But hopefully hopefully you guys can. Maybe when I go back to do the editing y'all you know, I can look and see if I can see it then but um maybe I've moved it around enough for you to see it hopefully you did because it looks pretty good it's, it's pretty good pretty good uh red dot it looks really nice yep it's very very fine looks pretty good it looks like you got the polymer frame structure uh, trigger ring the top is your standard you know steel patini rail in the front you know for a flashlight i would say because hey the scope has already got your laser pretty much in there so that looks pretty good i guess when you cover it um i'm thinking that that turns it off but it doesn't see any light so all right well let's uh let's take that um battery back out which you're probably gonna have a little fit getting that out because i that thing was kind of kind of stopped going in she was she was tight all right now there we go okay all right there we go all right now is a guy gonna get this back out of here well i may have to revert to a little tool you know something just to stick in there to pop it out it's tight, fellas and fellettes, I'm going to tell you. Wow. If I slip with this knife, I'm really going to cut myself because it, it, I'm telling you, it is sharp. Whew, almost did. All right. So, yeah, after noticing that, you know, that's that's not easy getting that thing in and out. That's a little bit of a pain in the rear end. Pack that back up. All right, stick that back in that bag there. Okay. Back in the box. Okay, now we want to set this, get this mounted back in there. Alright. And they have these little vinyl washers on there, so make sure you put those back on there. That's to help this thing. It's kind of like a, a regular steel washer. It kind of helps where it won't come, you know, won't back back out, get loose or what have you. Now we're gonna we're gonna torque this back down now. Yeah, that's good. That's about what it was when I took it out. All right. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's get the old stick out. Okay. Let's see what we're looking at here. All right. Looks like just a little over six and a half, about six and five eighths. That's about what it looks like. Let's see the height on it. We're not going to measure the top of the scope, fellas and fellas. We're just going to measure the fire on itself. Scope don't count. Okay, looks like about four and five eighths. Would y'all agree with that? Four and five eighths? Yeah. All right. Let's see what kind of thickness we got here. Uh, not quite an inch, but that is the, the slide. The grip is a little bit thicker. It's one inch. So it's got a little bit of little little bit of grip to it. Alright. Mighty mighty nice. Well let's go ahead and 
I got to put this allen wrench back in here, guys. Let me go do this real quick. I don't want to lose anything in here. Somebody. All right. Well, let's let's take the magazine out. And it is. This one is uh, 15 plus one. Wait a minute. And this one's 17 plus one. Okay. So we've got a longer, longer magazine. So you get one magazine that's 17 and one that's 15. Okay. Well, sorry about that. I missed that. I'm a little new to the Hellcat. Hadn't, we just got some in. And um, so I'm, I'm kind of new to it. Just got them in day before yesterday. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to lock this thing all the way back. So you can either A, make sure your magazine's not loaded, stick it back in there, ratchet it back, and then just take the magazine back out. Or if you don't have the magazine in, of course, just ratchet it back and push your button up, put your, your, your stop button up, and it'll, it'll stop. Now, it's a little piece right here. This is what we want to rotate all the way up to 12 o'clock position, just like that. See it? Okay. Now, you want to release your slide, let it go forward. When it comes to stopping point, fire the fire the, the pistol and then, which meaning pulling the trigger and your slide will come right off. That looks pretty good. I kind of got serial number on both sides there. That, that's, or is that a serial number? Maybe, I don't know, because they're different. I'll have to look that up and see what that is. Anyway, all right, let's take a look at this slide. Right there, just one notch. And there's very, very, very little oil on this gun. I see a little shine on the, the rod for the spring, that's about it. All right, let's take it out. Oh, and it's got a spring on it, whoo, daddy. Ugh. Mercy sakes a lot. There we go. That's one piece. That's good. Yeah, but see, see what I mean about the oil? I'm going to rotate this thing around and you'll see there's, there's hardly any oil, if any, on here. Which I kind of like in a way, because if I was buying one, I wouldn't want a lot of oil on it. I want to put my, my stuff on there. All right, let's slide this barrel out. Let's take a look at this barrel. See, pretty much dry. All right, let's take a look on the inside. Let's see if y'all can see any of this. That's a good rifle uh, bore in there. Looks pretty good. All right. Yep, that time again. Okay. And that barrel is going to be three and a half inches long. Three and a half inches. Not too shabby. All right. Well, it's kind of a. It's not really a compact uh, pistol per se. It's more of a kind of a mid-size. That's what my my judgment call would be. Is it is a, a mid-size gun, not a full size. Okay. Now that we've got our spring back in there. Now's the time when you want to tickle your little oil here and there. You know. Get you a little on this and right in here on the, the rods and the spring, just a little there. And then on your firearm piece here itself, you'll want to go down into the track there, just to tickle, just to tickle. Put a little bit down there on your spring. And that would probably be about it. All right, now let's reassemble it. So you want to go in front, this piece that you turn to a 12 o'clock position Wrap it back, lock it in place. Just go ahead and lock it in place right there. So you don't, it's not, you ain't having to hold it. Just flip that back down and let it go. And that's it. It's back, it's back, back together and ready to go fire again. Ready to hit the range, fellas and fellas. Very, very nice. I like it. Like I said, it's the first Hellcat that we've got come in. I really hope this release I can't even do it with two hands. I hope that loosens up. Let's check the trigger out on this thing. See what kind of trigger it's got. Oh wow, not, not much there at all. Oh yeah, that's nice. And look how the trigger stays locked back. 
and then it comes back forward when you recock it. Huh. Very, very nice. It looks pretty good. It's like a like a satin finish. You know, it's got the Hellcat right there. Nice. Well, let's step back over in the other room and see what you fellas and fellas think. Alright? What you think? Pretty slick, ain't it? I do like the shield glass scope on it. That's that's kind of nice. Yeah, pretty good. Very, very nice, man. I mean, it's a mighty, 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 mighty fine little firearm. Y'all have to let me know what you think. Like I said, first time us getting the Hellcats in. Um, we've already sold one. One's already went. I mean, we just got them. So, there's people out there who know a whole lot more about them than we do. And we're going to take one to the range and play around with it and get to know it. That's for sure. Well, let me know what you think. If y'all haven't subscribed, please do. Check that box up there. Hit that notification bell and, and uh, you'll know exactly when we got another video coming out. And if you have subscribed, really appreciate you. Appreciate you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't thank you enough. I think we are sitting at 274 subscribers. And we've been doing YouTube for three months. So maybe we're doing something right. I don't know. Or they feel sorry for us. <laughs> if they do, just keep feeling sorry and just keep just keep liking it and, and subscribing. <laughs> All right, fellas, fellas, thank you so much for coming by. Really appreciate you. I think our next video is gonna be on another Canic. I think the TP9 Canic, I think that's what it is. I think that's gonna be our next video. So stay tuned for that one too. We'll see you guys on the next one.